Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this super fun, colorful, neon yellow necklace using some mushroom beads, a large clasp with a mother of pearl heart dangling at the bottom. And in this video, I'm gonna use a technique that helps you attach a charm that doesn't already come with a loop at the top to attach with a jump ring. So stay tuned to learn how to do that. And let's get right into how to create this super fun, colorful beaded necklace. I wanted to show you guys how each of the items that I'll be using come in various sizes. You can begin by stringing your preferred beads onto the wire in the order that you would like. Once all your beads are strung on the wire, go ahead and grab your crimp cover and slide the crimp cover onto the wire just like that. Then you want to grab your little crimp bead and insert that into the wire as well. Once the crimp bead is on the wire, grab the tip of the wire and loop it once more into the crimp bead and then pull the wire all the way close to where the crimp bead is. You could even use the plier for extra strength. And then it should look something like that. Then you wanna go ahead and use the bottom section of the crimper tool that's like a little heart shape. And then just press down the crimp bead just like that. And then turn the crimp bead to the side and then put the crimp bead on the top section of the crimper tool. And that's going to allow the crimp bead to bend over and create a tighter section onto the wire so that the beads never slip out. So essentially what's happening with the crimper tool is the round bead is going down like this and then you're folding it over on top and squeezing it so the wire is fully shut inside then you can grab your cutter and cut the excess wire off because you don't want that showing from the crimp cover then grab your crimp cover and pull that all the way to the top where the crimp bead is and then use your plier to close the crimp cover on top of the crimp bead and it should look just like that. Since we started beading with the wire still attached to the spool, you can go ahead and grab the spool now and then give yourself enough room to work with the opposite end as well. You don't wanna cut the wire too short because then you'll have a lot harder time closing off the second side of the crimp and the crimp cover. So then just use your cutter to cut that wire off and we're just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing we did here to this side of the wire as well so first you want to start by grabbing your crimp cover insert the crimp cover onto the wire with the opening always facing away from the beads then grab your crimp bead slide the wire onto the crimp bead and then use the tip of the wire to slide back into and loop onto the crimp. And then pull that down as close as possible. Now before we close off this section, when you're using beading wire, you always want to make sure there's 100% flexibility within the wire so there's no tension because when there is tension within the wire, it could cause the beads to snap off the wire and we don't want that happening. So it's always good to have that extra space. You also don't want it to be too much to the point where your wire is showing too much towards the end, like it is right here. So what I'm gonna do is adjust it and put it a little bit closer to the end so that there isn't too much wire popping out from the opposite side. As 
So now what I want to do is slide this crimp bead closer down over here and then pull the wire so that it is closer to the end. And then once I do that checking method to make sure it's not too tight, I'm going to go ahead again with the bottom section of the crimper tool and press down to create a heart shape. Then turn the crimpy to the side and on top of the crimper tool and press down so they fold over on top of one another. And the crimpy should look like this. Then you can go ahead and cut that excess wire off and use your tool to crimp down onto the crimp cover so that it shuts over the crimp bead just like that. Now that we have both sides of the crimp ends finished off, you can go ahead and grab your jump ring. And in this case, I'm gonna be using three size jump rings. This middle size is going to connect onto the end of one side of the crimp cover. And you're going to use it to connect your clasp onto And then once they're both on the jump ring, use your set of pliers to close the jump ring. And you kind of want to hear a click and pass it and then come back to where they meet to ensure that the jump ring is fully closed on the crimp end and the clasp. And for the second side, I'm going to be using a mini jump ring as well as a larger jump ring because you want the jump ring to be large enough to comfortably have the large clasp hook onto. First, we're going to start off by opening up the little one, just like that, and then hook it onto the other side of the crimp cover and close it up. Always essential to hear that click, pass the jump ring, and then come back to meet. And next, we're going to go ahead and use the large jump ring and open it up. Connect that to the jump ring. And then close the large jump ring up as well. Pass it, and then come back to where they meet. So this jump ring is now large enough to comfortably be able to attach to this clasp as well. So since this is a mother of pearl bead that has a hole going through the middle, it doesn't have anything to attach it originally. So we're going to go ahead and use a head pin. Insert the heart charm onto your head pin and use your plier to create a 90 degree angle with the wire so it should look just like this then you want to use your green cutter to cut off just about this much of the wire grab your ramos plier and this is the plier that you're going to use to bend to create a loop on top of the heart. And this is what's going to connect the heart charm onto the jump ring over here. So as you can see, there is still a slight opening on the bottom of the head pin. Grab your pliers, act as if this head pin is a jump ring. So you just kind of want to bend it, it'll close shut just like that. So just to give you a little background on what materials each one is, the mushroom beads and the iridescent beads that I spaced between the mushroom beads are both glass and the neon ones are dyed jade and they're available in various colors so you can pick and choose which color you'd like to use for your design the clasps and the components are all 18 karat gold plated 
um, with electrophoresis cleaning on top for tarnish resistance. So they're super good quality for their price and they're not gonna tarnish on you within a few wears. So don't worry about that. The heart is a mother of pearl and the earrings as well as all the jewelry that I have on, including the rings and my bracelets are 18 karat gold plated over brass as well. The earrings that I have in right now are these super unique, beautiful statement gold earrings. But we also have this option in store, which is also like that wide flat kind of hoop as well. But the difference is that this one is more rounded, whereas this is more flat. So I just wanted to bring it to show you guys what they look like in comparison side by side i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got inspired to create a new necklace and learned how to attach a charm at the bottom without the loop attachment on top already thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you who comes on here every week to learn and grow and get inspired to create new jewelry if you guys have any questions at all please let me know down below if you enjoyed watching this video i really appreciate if you left a comment because your comments are super motivating and it makes me want to make more videos for you guys um, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you look down below in the description of this video, it'll show you all the products that I used in this video with the link and the time next to it. So you can click that specific item that I used in the video and it'll redirect you to our website, www.athenianfashions. I'll link it right here as well. And you can shop all these items to create your own jewelry design. And we also offer free shipping on orders $100 or more. So be sure to take advantage of that. And if you live in the LA area, you can come and visit us in store in the fashion district in downtown LA. So I hope to see you guys all there. Thanks for watching. Bye.